Hello everybody, this is Daryl the AutoCool Guy and today we're going to take a good look at the AutoCool 3 on how to install it, wire it up, and all of that good stuff. First of all, we have four brass studs, or 1032. We got fan A, we got fan B, and these are the two grounds. Now, what you want to do is you want to hook these, these two grounds, two ground with short heavy wires. And the wires that go to fan A and B, connect them together, and you want to run at least probably number 12, even possibly number 10 wire, to the return side of the fan. These go to the return side of the fans. And the fan positive then goes to the positive side of the battery, of course. Now also, keep in mind, when your engine is idling, you should have around 14 volts. If it's 12 volts when the engine is idling, you got a bad, you got a non-charging alternator. I'm not saying the alternator is bad, it's just not charging. I've had a case where a guy replaced an alternator and it didn't fix the problem, so you may take a good look at that. Okay. So, this controller is rated for about 125 amps. It's fused at 150 amps with internal fuses. Okay, now we're going to turn the controller around and look at the other side of the connector. Oh, there we go. Okay, this wants to be the battery terminal and, and put a, a small fuse, a one amp fuse between here and the battery positive. So this pin's always hot with 12 volts because the controller is going to work off this DC from here and pin 3, this pin 3 ground. Now when the ignition turns on, you put 12 volts there from the ignition, it turns the system on. Like I say, the, the controller runs off the battery, but the ignition turns the system on. And this pin 3 needs a real good ground. Also, pin 8 is ground over here. Now, your sensor, whether whatever sensor you have, the two wires from the sensor go to pins 4 and 5. These two, okay? And this is pin 6, the AC fan enable, which turns the fan on when you turn the air conditioning on. Now, there's a, there's a small potentiometer in the other side, of the, inside this plug that you can set the AC fan speed from low to high if you want. Now if you have air conditioning, you don't have air conditioning, you can not leave pin 6 open, okay? Okay, pin 7 is your failsafe pin, so when you tie this pin to ground, it's going to turn on your failsafe, in other words, tur turn your fans on the full RPM in case you have some sort of a problem. Now tie this pin 8 to right to ground, and then you can run a twisted pair from these two up to your switch on the dash. Now, the switch for the dash doesn't have to be a big switch. It can be a small one amp switch because the current grounding this is ultra, ultra low current. Okay? So let's go through, so let's see. Now a lot of this is on page 1 of the, of the instructions. Okay? Now, um, on your sensor, the two wires from the two wires from the sensor go to these four, pins four and five. Now, if you think you have a faulty sensor, measure the sensor resistance with the two wires cold. It should be from 40, 50, 60,000 ohms cold between the two wires. If one of the wires is shorted to the case of the sensor, you got a bad sensor. Let me know. I'll get you another sensor, whether it's a standard brass sensor or the. Um, brass plug sensor or the, the inline sensor, the copper inline sensor, okay. And now <clears throat> you also need to install the sensor on the outflow port of the radiator. Don't put it on the inflow of the radiator, otherwise your controller will be running at high RPM all the time. Put it on the outflow or the bottom. Now if you use a laser temperature gun, you want to put the laser dot on a dull black surface because if you put it on a shiny bright surface like chrome or nickel plate you're going to get an er erroneous reading and I've, I've done this, it's very true okay. and one more thing if you want to put fuses between fan A and B in the fan you can do that, optional fuses 40-50 amp fuses from here to, to the fan return and from here to the fan return. Like I say, it's optional because if you short, if you have a shorted fan, you want to save the internal fuses because they're a bitch to change. Uh, so on and so forth. 
Let's go through some of this manual. Now, if if you have a buzz problem with this, uh, some of the Asian fans have a buzz problem. So if you do, then get a hold of us, order the uh, the buzz box, which keeps the fan powered during the off cycle of the controller. So I think I pretty well covered it. If you have any questions, send me an email or give me a call. Love to talk to you guys. Thanks, guys. See ya.